Well, when our next guest is in a film, we know there's going to be dozens of hard hits, kicks, and an explosion of action. Take a look. You're going to pay for that? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, ow. Okay. That's just a peek at the upcoming film, Accident Man, Hitman's Holiday, starring our next talented guest actor, writer, producer, Scott Atkins. Scott, welcome back. How are we doing? I got that size me out just watching it. I know. Yes. Us know. too. <laughs> that, was like the, that was like my workout yesterday. Yeah, that's what I did yesterday at the, at the gym. Just kidding. Good for you. <laughs> Mine was not that bad. Just kidding. It was intense. It's an intense watching that clip. So what does it take for you to coordinate, shoot a scene like that? Do you ever get too close for comfort or get injured? Uh, injuries, part of the job. Getting hit by accident is part of the job, I'm afraid. I'm a lifelong martial artist, so taking a bit of punishment is all part of it. So that's okay. But yeah, making action films, especially martial arts films, it, it takes quite a bit of doing, and it's not for the faint-hearted. Uh, yeah, clearly. And this isn't your first time playing this character, right? What, what made you want to bring it back? This is the sequel to Accident Man 1. Now, when I was 14 years old, I found the comic book, Accident Man, written by Pat Mills and Tony Skinner, and I always harbored the dream to turn it into a movie. I figured somebody else would do it, but they never did. So I was able to get the rights, option the property, got it over to Sony Pictures, and we made the first film that came out in 2018. And I'm very happy to be here at 46 years old, knowing that I got that comic book when I was 14. I'm sorry, what we're you talking say? about the sequel. That that's pretty cool. You say 46 years old? Unfortunately, yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, that, you He's know, Benjamin Button. Seriously, agent <laughs> in reverse. Right. I, well, I, thanks a lot. But those playing. fight sequences aren't getting any easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I bet. And yeah, speaking of, there's no there's no shortage of them throughout the entire movie. But there there is a fun storyline here. It's not just about the action, right? So what's the movie actually about? Well, so it's called The Accident Man because I'm a hitman that specializes in killing people, but making it look like an accident. That way, nobody ever asks any questions. They just thought, oh well, the piano fell from up there and it landed on his head. That was really unfortunate. Mm. Now he's dead. <laughs> um, basically, there's a lot of colorful assassins and characters. Cool. It's a uh, a comedic movie, wacky and zany, with a British sense of humor, jam packed to the gills with action sequences and martial arts. Well, it sounds and awesome. It's just a fun movie. Yeah, it sounds fun. And you have this movie out today. Last month you had Section 8 with Mickey Rourke. And in August you, you released Day Shift opposite Jamie Foxx. Three movies, three months. Where do you find the time to do all this and, and the energy, really? I love to work. I, you know, I just like to keep working. The more I do, the better I get, I feel. So, you know, it, I try to work as much as I can. I love to work and I love to see my family as well, but unfortunately they can't come with me most of the time. But yeah, we've got John Wick 4 coming up next. So we're looking forward to that as well. Yeah. Ooh, okay. You know, uh, I spoke to you two years ago. It was the beginning of the pandemic, right? And, and you, yeah. first off, you told me a little bit about like how you keep the energy going for the workout, but you also launched a show on YouTube. It was called Art of Action. Uh, so, and that was all, it was an interview-based show. Who have you interviewed so far? All right, I've interviewed some of the martial arts greats. Um, you know, it's, I, I wanted something to do during the pandemic to keep me sane, so I started interviewing other martial arts action people and um, stuntmen and directors. And yeah, I've had some classic people on, like Dolph Lundgren and Cynthia Rothrock and Jeff Speakman that I grew up watching as a kid. And then other people that I've, I've worked with, like Tony Jar and Eco Oasis, most of the best action guys in the business. I'm still trying to get to Stallone and Schwarzenegger, mm -hmm. but I'll, I'll get there eventually. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you had a dream, and now you're doing it. If there are other guys out there, or girls or even, who have the same dream to be an action hero, what would be your advice for them? Believe in yourself and go for it, but just know that nobody's going to give it to you. You've got to take it and the only way to take it is to become good enough that it's undeniable that mm. nobody can stop you you know achieving your goal but it, it, it's not going to be easy oh, yeah but for me i really didn't feel like i had another choice it was a passion inside me that i don't know where it came from but i couldn't shake it it was just there and that was all the motivation i needed so if you feel that way then you should go for it um you're also going to be in john wick chapter four yeah which um, you mentioned well, you know and and so i just wanted to know have you had some action scenes with the one and only 
Keanu Reeves. I can neither comment. I can't comment about that. I can't say anything. Don't get me into trouble. In, I know. I know. You mentioned yeah. it. And I heard you mention it, which is why I'm trying yeah. to, you know, journalistic. Maybe. Question. But then again, maybe not. Okay. But I'm pretty sure there might be some action from me. But we'll <laughs> see. I don't think you're going to be able to help cut yourself. Let's see if they me out the movie or not. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's good enough for now. Well, hopefully you'll come back and, and chat with us when that movie comes out as well. I'd love to. All right. Thanks, God. His movie, Accident, Accident Man, Hitman's Holiday, is in theaters today as well as video on demand and digital.